What is up, there's Rakdar, and we're... There what the fuck am I saying? What is up, this is Rakdar, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Control Fortress... What? Are these even points for something? Maybe this is just a practice target. What do you what do you do, man? What do you freaking do? What do you do? So or, cool, you're great. You scored three perfect bullseyes. I have to give a neat present to such a wonderful person. Please take it. <laughs> that would he shoots it, but it just kind of like floats and shit in the air, and then... What is even going on? 40 slingshot bullets. Wowzers. Vajowzers. Alright. I'm gonna go play Simon. I think that's what happens here. Let's see. Okay, so there's two dudes. Whoop, whoop, win it out, whip it out. That's what I always say. Follow along with our song on your rock arena. On your rock arena. We'll lead you into it. Right. <gasps> okay. Yes! Oh, this is totally Simon. Okay. Alright, alright. It's only gonna be eight notes, that's not too bad. Alright, alright. We're doing this. I kind of don't like that I don't have the actual C buttons, though. Like, that does kind of bother me. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go! Here we go, we go. Dude, this is an awesome song. Is that it? That was quite a nice session. As a token of our friendship, please take... Please say a heart piece. Do you want to play some more? Um... Yeah, if I get something better than a fucking single rupee. Like, I hope that they give me something better than that stupid-ass shit. Alright. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna cut till whatever the last prize is. That was quite a nice session. As a token of a friendship, please take this! Okay. Piece of heart. I was like, if there's not a piece of heart in this for me, I'm gonna slit those Skull Kids' throats. Alright, so that's enough of that. I'm going to... Uh, we're going to... I gotta think of what we're doing. We... I came to the forest to do something specific. Oh. We are going to Kakariko Village because we're gonna do some storyline. Hey, so I just thought I would take this extra second to mention that I uploaded my 100th video today and it was awful. Dark, narrow, scary. Oh, three features. And that, like, it was a pretty... It was a pretty terrible, terrible video. So you'll notice there's water in that well. And, um, even, uh, you, you can see there's something down there, but even with our super dive, we can't get that far down. It's just barely out of reach, even with super dive. So it's like, how do we get down there? And, well, if you remember in the future, oh shit, is that even possible to remember, uh, in the future? But it is, because we went to the future. Past tense, we went back to the future. And do we need to... Maybe I need to be in inside to do it. Bad memory strikes again. My childhood, obviously, was one of stupidity because I can't remember the things that happened. I'm just trying to shield my childhood with bad memories. Alright, so... Oh, there we go, yep. So remember, that guy was super, super pissed that some kid with an ocarina came seven years ago and messed up the well. And, you know, that was... we figured it out. We were like, oh, that was probably us. But, I mean, in terms of, like, the, the space-time continuum, that's pretty fucking crazy that we... We learned the song from a guy that heard us play the song first. 
God, my mind is getting blown right now. I never understand how this works. I guess the town gets its water because the the um, windmill pumps the water out of the well, maybe? Oh, let's talk to this guy and see what he says now. Go around, go around, go around. What? It's going way too fast! Whatever. Whatever. Screw you. Nobody cares what you have to say. Um... But yeah, it was always... But I, I didn't try and think about the specifics of it. But it was always way strange to me that, um... Come on. Yep, there we go. Cool. It was always way weird to me that, uh... You learn the song from a guy that heard you play it. But technically... That means you didn't know it yet. I don't know, you know. You know all that business about time travel and the space-time continuum, and maybe what that means is that it has something to do with, like, destiny or fate or something. Hey. Hey. Turn your ass around. Turn your ass around. I need to insert things in it. That sounds terrible. I mean Deku Seeds. That's what I want to insert in your ass is Deku Seeds. Alright, what does the skeleton say? He doesn't actually say anything, but Navi's gonna say something well, yeah. about him. I think. Navi's gonna be like, I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the eye of truth. That's what they are saying. That's kinda weird. So, what the fuck? Look at that. What? Oh, I glitched out there for a second. So, as you can see, I just walked through a freaking wall. And in this place, by the way, uh... Oh, we gotta watch out for this guy. Can you kick this guy's ass? When he's not shielded? Um... This place has, like, a lot of fake walls and stuff. If it's your first time here, more than likely... You are going to end up... Alright, so as you can see, there's a chest down there, so we'll probably end up... Doing something with that later. If it's your first time here... You'll more than likely end up, uh... Falling into a fake hole somewhere. Nope, he's coming behind us. Ugh, I think. Let's see here. One of these will actually warn us not to stand there. It might be this one. Let's see. Um, this wall, it says something here. Danger below. That's what it says. Okay, so yeah, if we stand directly in front of that um, picture, we will. You'll fall right through the floor, because like this place has like some fake floors, some fake walls, as you obviously have already seen. And basically you're here to get the Lens of Truth, and what the Lens of Truth does is, uh... Oh, need a key. Alright. It allows you to, um, see invisible stuff, or also to see through, like, uh, stuff that's not actually there. Um, that just, that doesn't sound right. Oh, well, let's just run. Let's run from this. Crazy fudger. Alright, cool. Alright, so... Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, that guy's coming right at us, but as you can see, the royal emblem is at my feet, which means it's time to play Zelda's Lullaby and ease that statue to sleep or some shit like that. Alright, so yep. Alright, there we go. What does he... What does she say about this? Probably like, you need to lower the water level or some... Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh, there we go. Damn it. what does she say about that? Oh, it's just a bomb? Maybe there's like a secret wall here that I need to hit with a bomb. I don't know. Ah, it doesn't look like it. Alright, so, whatever. Let's go firstly. I'm gonna go, uh, oh. What does that say? What does that say? Oh, why do I keep hitting my... Oh, whatever. That fucking ghost is gonna come back and kick my ass, I just know it. I can hear him. Alright, let's go here. Alright, cool. And... Crap, I did it again, what am I doing? I didn't play a game with a different control scheme or anything. Alright, what does that say? This wall, it says something here. Danger above. That's what it, what? Huh. Alright, well, whatever. If we go down this way, yep. I was like, if you go down this way... <laughs> I was gonna... I 
I swear. I'm new. That was not a surprise. Don't pretend like I got surprised by that. So if you don't have bombs when you're over here for some reason, you can do this. Now the reason I came down here though is because I forget if, um... To be 100% honest, I forgot if you're actually supposed to come down here or not. Like, I don't... As with most of the places in this game, I don't have like a perfect memory of that shit. I wonder if I can... Oh. I was going to try and shoot it to see if I can make it go faster. Okay. Oh. Great. I was like, what am I doing wrong? Man, I am just out of it today. There was something at work. I don't know, work was like three hours long today. It was ridiculous. I barely had to go into work. It was kind of ridiculous. Like, let's kill this asshole. Die! 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 die. Alright, cool. So yeah, it looks like we have to come down here. I'm guessing because they have the whole silver coin thing, which you'll remember from, uh... We had the silver coin situation going down. Oh, I think what the silver coins do is they actually just unlock that door up above us. And I forget... I don't know why I think this, but... Oh, I feel like those hands try and grab you. But they don't. <laughs> what? I just heard the sound of something dying, but I didn't kill anything. Alright, whatever. Well, we have to get up there. I think those, uh, these coins just unlock something. They unlock, like, a door. Oh, did not mean to do that. There we go. Set that down right there, blow some shit up. Yep, cool. And... Oh, fuck this. Even though I'm scared of you, I'm walking right past you. I don't- I mean, you don't really have to fight them. If they stand up, that's how you know they're after you, but if they don't stand up, it's like, who the fuck cares? Oh, cool. Got a map. That will actually... That will be rather helpful, because this place, you know, is... It's tricky-dicky. It's icky... Okay, so those are not silver. Those are... Those are definitely just your average coins right there. Let's see here. I think that dead end is possibly just another dead end that you can, um... Oh, okay. This dead end, I think, is just another dead end that you yep, you fall down from above, so it's really nothing of significance over here. And then I, I wonder where the last of those um of those uh, silver rupees is, so I can probably down this way. Oh, and all these pots are organized. Huh? What? Navi seems to be hinting at something. Oh, it's, I guess, just another place where you fall down, I guess. Um, and those are definitely, yeah, those are definitely blue, they're not silver. Huh. The last one must be up the ladder, I guess. Because I think what happens is if you don't collect the silver coins, there's a, a door that, like, locks in one way. And you have to... I like how this is on the map as its own floor. It's just, like, this tiny-ass little floor. That's just, that's fucking weird. That's what it is. That's just weird. Alright, so... Let's see here. Oh, yep. And we collect this one, and hopefully... Yep, it's the last one. We'll get through this door. I think it'll bring us back. Holy shit. Where did that bring us to? Oh. What does this skeleton have to tell us? I can hear the spirits whispering in this room. Look for the eye of truth. Oh. This one says the same fucking shit. Can we walk through any of these? Nope. Oh, cool. That's actually interesting, though. Um. I wonder if I can kill this thing once it, its little green aura goes away. Huh. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Not really, uh, not really all that rewarding, I guess. Okay, cool. Looks like this is the place to be going. Alright, what do we got? Bombs. So we're gonna need some bombs, apparently. Enter. Alright. Man, they sure did make this tunnel long. What the fuck? What the F? Alright. What do we got? What do we got? Show me your fate. Oh my goodness. Are you ready to die, sir? Oh, you know what? I forgot. I said this 
in the very first episode of my childhood Let's Play. Let's do that. I don't know why I'm sitting here with my fucking slingshot trying to kill those guys. I wonder if I'm gonna fall. Okay. Whenever I'm in this place, oh, and we have a we have a mid boss right here. You will see. Watch. Well, let's. Maybe we need to get caught. Yep, we do. All right, cool. All right. So this guy. Just wait till he puts his face in your. He's he's gonna like. He's gonna get all on your shit and just fucking. Sit. Like, this guy is not that ridiculously challenging. I wish I had the big Goron sword to kick his ass. Oh, and I think when, uh, I don't want to test it to see if I take damage, but... Do we have to get caught to get him to come back up? I guess I have to get caught to... Yep, alright, cool. And then once you get on caught... Oh, crap, 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 crap. Alright, cool. I'm waiting for him to put his stupid ass face in your face again. And just kick the shit out of him. Hey, this is kind of an interesting... <laughs> no better time to test this than now. Alright, check this out. I doubt this will do anything. I'm wondering if it'll take out his arms. Like, I mean... Yeah, that was a stretch. Alright, let's get him to come back out again. It is kind of terrifying, though, that you have to... Maybe, like... Oh, crap. Okay. Maybe, um, you can get him to come out just by, like... Swinging at the arms. Oh crap! Crap! Oh. I didn't realize I was standing that close to it. Alright, cool. Fuck your shit. Let's see if we can hit him again. Like this. Um. I can't tell if that damaged him or not. Oh, he's staying out this time. Alright, put your face down. Fuck your face! Oh. I don't know why I keep on using Din's Fire. I'm really hoping to, like, do extra damage. It, it does, like, it's showing shit as though extra damage is being dealt. It is, this, this fight, I guess, is kind of terrifying, because, like, you have to get held in place to get the fight to progress. Like, that's kind of, like, plays off the fears of children. Because my fears of getting eaten by some kind of, like, amorphous-looking... I don't even know what word that is. I don't, I don't know. Oh, um, and I think that can't be the lens of truth already. No fucking way. I think that's the compass. That's gotta be the compass. Let's see. Holy shit! Alright. And I guess the rest of this dungeon is optional, but I think there's a heart piece and some skulltulas, so in the next episode, I am going to actually do the optional part so I can show you how to get some heart pieces and some skulltulas. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.